Hi again, uh, Zach Kasson over here, and this is homework number three over chapter 12, question number three. So there's a lot that can be said about immunity, the types, whether it be natural or acquired, the different types of helper cells, T or B, where they're formed, etc. But for time's sake, we're going to focus on the relationship between antibodies and antigens only. I'll begin by explaining what the two are. Antigens are any substance or molecule that the body doesn't recognize. They're non-native or foreign to the body in its normal flora, and the immune system must get rid of them to prevent disease, inflammation, infection, or other acute conditions. This is where antibodies come in, also known as immunoglobulins. These are protective proteins that play on the body's team, continuously circulating in blood or lymph, looking for potentially troublesome antigens. They're part of the body's innate immune system, and their purpose is to combat antigens, or foreign invaders like we said earlier, including bacteria and viruses before they're able to harm or cause a homeostatic imbalance within the body. Remember, the immune system also plays a role in homeostasis. Typically, antigens will invade the body with the goal of infecting any host cell, or more specific ones called target cells. Antibodies find the invaders and bind with them in an effort to disable the potentially harmful pathogen or microbe and prevent them from being able to interfere with the body's healthy cells. The selfless action by the antibody not only marks the antigen, but also itself for a type of destruction called phagocytosis. This is an immunological response of which a virus, bacteria, or other pathogen is engulfed and digested by a much larger molecule, commonly phagocytes, macrophages, or other white blood cells. After phagocytic engulfment occurs, digestion of the particles begins. The cell is dead and excreted, and homeostasis is reestablished. After the bacteria, virus, or what have you is eradicated from the body, the immune system produces memory cells and antibodies against that particular microbe to typically prevent the individual from becoming infected again with that particular viral strain or bacteria or those that are closely related to it. If the antigen is reintroduced to the body, the immune system is able to quickly jump into action to stop infection from reoccurring because it remembers that strain. Uh, these are the references I used. Uh, most of my information come from my um, med surge book here. Um, thanks for listening. I'll uh, attach this in a separate document.